I'm back in the morning. Um, at least I'm able to record this one after playing Stardew at like 7.30 instead of 6.30 because I got to sleep in. When you wake up six days out of the week, sleeping in is like an hour <laughs> for me. When you have to wake up early six days out of the week, so. Um, I've been playing some Stardew. If you guys want to see another episode, I do want to get Pam her new house, but I've been buying those kegs and crystalliniums, so basically more income producing assets in the game. So, but we're going to play some TIS 100 and we got the signal divider 61212. I have not even looked at this yet. Okay. Read, va on, read values from in A and in B. Divide in A by in B. So 47 divided by 3. Write the quotient to Q and the remainder to R. Oh. Okay. So we're doing integer division. So it's a function that takes essentially a function that takes two numbers and outputs two numbers. Um, that's fun. <laughs> Okay, well, there we go. Um, fun, fun. So, how are we going to do this? I'm trying to fix my microphone. Um, I guess I don't need to, well, I guess I need to type, but. We got two stack memory nodes. We're doing division, which means we're gonna have to do multiplication and some subtraction. So this number is gonna be pulled in. This number is gonna be pulled in every time we subtract this number from this number, we need to count. Right? Dang it. I don't even know if I need the stack memory nodes because the the numbers themselves carry a lot of you know counting information. Um and then when it's no longer big enough we just take that remainder, put it to R. Is that, that can't be too difficult. Because we already have some, some adding and subtracting operations, so. Let's see here. So let's just try dividing. So move up ACC, sub right, move up ACC, uh, C, move ACC left. And then jump if it, less than zero, or let's see, jump, jump greater than zero. Um, loop. Um, loop.
So it looks like everything divides at least once. So if it divides at least once, then we can just, you know, let's see, move one down, move zero down. Okay, so um, I'm just going to run this just to see how many ones are between each thing. Okay, so that looks like a lot more than three. Oh, because... up ACC move ACC right move ACC move ACC down I lied let's just say move up down screw it um That's it. That's it. This is this this seems like it's easier than what they what they set me up for. I think. I think. Oh, you know what? Crap. Okay. Save. Uh, move left ACC jump if equals zero um, loop okay otherwise um, repeat So we just got to test this. So we get a three in. Uh, as long as it sends a one to the right, we just keep sending threes. Um, I guess we can sub right first. That no, no, let's not do that. Let's 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 do this. Let's do that. Let's do that. So now they're synchronized or whatever. Yeah. We send the one to the right. Oh no. Crap. Uh. So, oh my goodness. Okay, so repeat. Move ACC left and save. So I'm shifting these commands so that we're, we're I guess, synchronized or something. So we, we get three, a one in. Wait, what?
Hold on. Let's put the move zero right at the top. It's so hard to just get these darn things initialized. Okay, so we send a zero right. We send a three left. Okay. Move one right. So hard just to get it initialized. Oh my goodness. That's a lot more than three ones. Um, why is it sending another one? 47. 44. Oh, yeah, 15 ones. It should be. No, it should be. <laughs> it shouldn't pause after that, though. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, sixteen. Yeah. Let's just move this back down. Move up ACC. Move one down, move one right. I was gonna say move zero down, move zero right, right. say that we have a new one. Move up ACC. We subtract right. And then only if it's greater than zero. Uh, do we go to loop? We call this one reset. Jump, lesson zero, reset. Jump loop. So we move a one down, move one right, and then we jump loop. Right. So, nope, it's not good. 
Dang it. I don't want to do if it's less than zero. I want to do it. Because if it's less than zero, we went too far. Or no. We didn't. Because if it's less than zero, we don't want to do anything different if the remainder is zero. Because we want the remainder to be zero or greater. So no matter what, we want to get to a negative number. And then we add one back, basically, is what we're doing. So we move left ACC to see what we're looking for. If it's zero, then we go to loop. And then we store a new number here. And we just send that number left and then save it again. And check from left. If it isn't, then we swap them to get our save number. We go to repeat. We send that one left. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, at least it's the correct number of ones, even though we started with the zero, so. Um. Yep. Okay. So if it's a one, Okay, so move up ACC. Now we're assuming that we have our value saved. So we're just starting from there, moving up to ACC. If it's zero, jump equals zero. And we save. It's not, we swap, add up, no, add ACC, no, we, crap, um, we add one, because we know we're only going to get a one, so. swap we swap move ACC down then we save Uh, 
press save. What I could do is I could just say do save here. Right. So 15. Okay, it sent a zero down for some reason though. Um, moving up a let's see loop all right let's do this let's do reset move zero down We got a 15. We got a 12. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. We got the quotients. Okay. That makes me happy. <laughs> it's like, come on, work. Um. So now to get the remainders, this is going to be tricky. Right. So to get the remainders, I basically have to do something tricky here. So see how I'm at negative one? What I have to do is I have to move I think I can do it with just adding a couple lines of code. Um, Okay, so for reset, I lie to it and I say move one right. Then I say um, add right. Then I say move zero down. Then I say move ACC down. So that should do it. The first one is give us a t try to send down a two as soon as it gets down to okay. Bam. Should negative one. Boom. Add right. Move zero down and then move a two down. Yep. So it gets a swap. So when it resets, it moves right. Move up. Right. Bam, move left, down, move up, down. Guys, I think we did it. Yes, we did it. That's the remainder and sending the remainder. Okay. All right, man. I'm like so happy when I actually complete these and they work. Okay, that was great. So we have an episode of this for today.
Alright guys, that was fun. We divided. Signal divider. It sounds funny because I think signal. I don't know. But it divides integers, so. There you go. That was fun. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.